Hello, I'm Dragos, and in this video we are gonna take a look at uh, OPN Forms. This is a free form builder that can help you create uh, forms that you can embed into your static websites or you can just create a link and send it in your social media accounts and things like that. You can also self-host this, uh, these options, it's open source. And uh, yeah, the name is OPN Forms, I'm using it on my website. And uh, in this video, we're going to take a look uh, how we can create a simple contact form. Also, we can use their AI to create a form and uh, things like that. The form uh, will store the entries and also will send an email. You have the option to send a Slack or a Discord message. Yeah, it has like a lot of nice features that you can do. So this is their website, opnforce.com. And in here, you'll see all the, all the features and then other details. I didn't use all of them. For me, what I was most interested on is to have like a good form on my uh, Astro website when someone will uh, want to contact me to, to have an option and also to not receive a lot of spam because I tried a lot of other forms in the past and usually I get a lot of spam with them even, I, even if I protect them with uh, Cloudflare. So yeah, this is the their website and here for instance you have a lot of templates let's take a look for instance in a couple of the templates so you can see because we are just gonna create a simple form so in here you see that you have some form options with email it uh, age you ranges with gender to choose from and uh, things like that you have the options to submit it an engagement one that you can create. So yeah, you can create some advanced forms that uh, you can embed or you can send a direct link anywhere. So you can check their website for more details. It's a feedback form, easy one. So let me close this. And in here, for instance, I have my website and I just have like a simple contact form that I have em embedded in the contact page of Astro blog. You put your name, your email and your message. You verify that and you are a humor and that's it, you can submit it and uh, yeah, it works uh, with no problems. So yeah, this is their interface, so you can create a free account with no problems. Also, they have like a GitHub repo if you want to self-host this, you can do also that. You can self-host this with Docker. If you want, you see in here, you have one sort of commands that can can help you. And uh, yeah, this is built with Laravel, VueJS and Tailwind CSS. So, this is the GitHub repo in case you want to self-host it yourself. But in this video, uh, we're just gonna create a form. In here, you see in here, like you have the views and you have the some submissions. You see that this was created like five months ago for my website. We're just gonna create a new one that uh, we're gonna check and embed it in the contact form. So I have here an Astro free team that has a contact form. But this contact doesn't do anything, it's just uh, here to display it and see how it looks. And uh, we're gonna replace it with uh, the version of uh, OPN Forms. I'll create uh, a small one just to to embed it in here and see how it, it, it looks. So yeah, this is the, the theme and this is the, the page. So let's create a new form in here. And in here you can also create one with AI, so you can just tell it what you want and it will create one for you. It is very simple uh, in case you don't uh, want to start from scratch and you want to have something more advanced. But I will start with the simple contact form because this is what I want to create. So this is the, the form you see it in here. For, for me it's more than enough for, for my websites. In here you see I have like the name, the email and uh, the message and in the left side you have the title let me put the contact form in here you can add a description please use this contact form to get in touch okay i put it something simple just for you to to see you can tag it have the visibility and in here you have the options to make this uh, mandatory. You see in here you have also some 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 settings that you can change. I'm not going to the details of this because I 
in mean, I didn't even um, did a lot of configurations. I, I'm just interested in the basic things because I'm not using this for uh, any advanced things. I'm just using it to 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 be contacted. And in here we have the the teams. For instance, you can create a, a simple one like this, or we have options to have an option one like this. I will use the default. Here we have the options to to be centered or full width. I will let it like this to, to be centered to see how it looks. You have options to add a cover picture if you want in here, you can upload the logo if you want. I have a PSVG. Yeah, you see in here that you, you will have the, the logo. You have the options for the buttons and the colors. And that one was like a little green, I think. I'll just create it like this. I want to, to keep it a as uh, much as in par with what is there. And here we have the button text. You can allow users to edit and update their re records. You have the options to the show a success page if you want or to redirect it. Okay. Closing that if you want this to, to expire. And in here you have the notification. So what I want, I want to receive a notification when someone will enter something. I want to be notified on my email. Okay one per line it's in here so this is my email we will got test to see if it's working you have here the options to put a slack notification as send a submission confirmation for security to, to be indexed by what if you want protect the form with a capacha i will do it like this i don't want to receive spam so it's okay here you can add some custom code if you want for integrations so yeah, for this purpose, I mean, it's enough like uh, like this for me. I'll put it a test in here just to, to have it like this. So I will just save the, the changes. So yeah, now you see that uh, you have the, the, the form in here, you can view it. You have the analytics to see the entries and forms of use. And in here you have the options to embed it. You see it like, like this in, in here. And then here you have like the link to it if you want to share it. Let's go and see. So if you want to share it, it will look like this. You can share it anywhere. It will be visible from anywhere. You can remove also the branding if you want. You have all the options there in the edit. And like this, you can embed it in uh, in your HTML code. Like this, I am doing it for Astro. Other options in here, you have like... Uh, embed it as a pop-up so you can create also a pop-up if you want with this one you see in here where to to be displayed and uh, things like that so yeah you have like uh, some advanced options that you can use in here but yeah for this purpose for the purpose of this video i will just uh, want to embed it in my static website in uh, in this case astro so yeah i have let me open the Visual Studio Code in here. So I have the team in here. And if we go under pages, we'll have a contact page in here. In here, we have the form. And we're gonna replace this with the one that we, we have. Let me delete this form in here. I will copy the code in here. I will just go and edit it uh, there. So I've just embedded in here. It have the height like uh, this is the default one we can change it if you if we want we can modify it if we want there is no problem so i will just save this so right now we see that the page is saved and let's go and see how this thing is looking so you see that uh, it's quite big for what we have in here and also you have the title for this one let's remove the title because we have already a title in here okay let's go and edit the form and let's see how we can uh, disable the title. I title. I don't want to have the logo added also. So I want to have something like this. Let's uh, use the remove OPM branding also. So yeah, simple like this. Let's save the changes. And right now, let's refresh and see if something changes. Okay. So it's looking like this. You see that. All the elements were removed from from there. So if someone will want to contact you, it can 
it can do that easily. So let's go and see how it's looking. So right, the, the form doesn't look that good because you have this bar in here, but this can be easily fixed with uh, a tweak. So let me open this and in here you just uh, need to go. Let me contact. Then need to go and change this. So I will just increase this to be bigger. Okay, let's go and see. So right now you see that the form is looking nice and we can uh, go and do a test. Let me do it like this and uh, do a test. I will hit I'm not a human. I will choose from, from here. Let's see. Verify. Okay, I will submit. And right now you see that the message was sent. We are going to go and see if everything went successfully. And in here, if we go and check it right now, you see that we have a view. Let's see. We should have also submission in here. So you see the um, message. I have the options to export it, to change the columns and things, things like that. You can enlarge them if you want. And I should have an email. You see in here, I have received the email with the details of the form. So yeah, this is uh, OPN forms and this is how we can uh, help you add a simple contact form on your static website without uh, receiving spam and uh, things like that. I hope you enjoyed the, the video. Thanks for, for watching and uh, yeah, see you in the next video.